हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स टुडे आई हैव समथिंग स्पेशल टू गिव यू द कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस ऑफ टेक महिंद्रा दैट वाज आस्क्ड ऑन 1st अक्टूबर लेटेस्ट टाइप इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर टेक महिंद्रा यू कांट मिस दिस वीडियो बिकॉज़ वी आर ब्रेकिंग डाउन ऑल देयर लेटेस्ट कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस टू हेल्प यू साइन इन योर एग्जाम सो सब्सक्राइब दिस एंड शेयर दिस चैनल विद योर फ्रेंड एंड गेट द जॉब टुगेदर ओके लेट्स गो सो द क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग मैजिक नंबर राइट अमित इज फंड ऑफ मैजिक नंबर One day he is planning a trip from city A to B, where there is exactly n rest point between both the cities, and every rest point have an ID, not necessarily unique. Omit stop only those rest point whose ID, hotel ID, is a magic number. If there is no rest point whose ID is a magic number, then Omit didn't stop at any such points and reached city B directly. Now before planning the trip, Omit wants to know in how many rest points he can stop. is card and have some rest note that according to amit magic number is a number which is a perfect uh, square right of any number that is 0 1 4 9 or 2 n right so the input format is this the first line of the test case contains a single integer and here is the constraints follow that the number of rest points from city a to b right and the second line of each test case contains n integers right the id of each test uh, rest point or hotel number so here is the output format that is for each test case print the integer on a single line the count of total numbers of magic number right so the magic number is actually the perfect square that means uh, as you know uh, 16 uh, sorry 4 9 16 25 81 blah blah blah, blah right So here is the sample input. That is the length of the array is five, and the rest points are twenty five, seventy seven, fifty four, eighty one, and forty eight. Output is two. Why? Because twenty five and eighty one only those are the perfect square. That's why we are returning two, right? And in the second input, the sample inputs are uh, the length of the array is ten, and the elements of the array, I mean the the rest points are these, right? So output is three. Why? Because Including zero, there are two uh, perfect square that is sixteen and six six twenty five, right? So that's why we are returning three. So we have to actually count if the number, if the current element of the array is integer, and if if it is a square root of any number, then we are returning or we are counting plus one, right? so this way we can solve the problem so i hope you understood the problem if you can solve the problem i am again i am actually requesting this in every video that if you can solve the problem then don't watch further just start solving the problem by yourself and if not possible then come to watch right okay let's see what is the solution but before i proceed to the solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and share this with your friends so that they can also take help from this right we have to take square root of numbers right so for that we have to import the library math and uh, i am not taking the function you can implement that i am just uh, implementing the logic right okay now uh, just take the inputs let's say the length of the array is n and int input and if you want the solution in java then Uh, you can convert this logic in java as well right if you can't solve then uh, let me know i will give you the java solution as well in the comment box right okay now take the uh, array list element so list elements are uh, list map int and input right okay now initialize a variable as zero to count the total number of perfect square present in the array or list right so now run a for loop to iterate through all the elements in the array right so sorry n and now initialize a variable in which we will store uh, the square root of the array, array ith element right so int math dot square root of the array ith element right so we are casting this to integer because math dot square root can give you a floating point number right now check if x square that means x multiply x is equal to is equal to array ith if so then 
we will count plus one right otherwise we will continue else uh, else continue right okay now we are just going to print the count then everything will be fine right okay now let's see if this is right or not so run the code for the first input that is length of the array was 5 and 25 77 54 81 and 48 are the rest points sorry uh based in oh sorry actually i have to split this right so split whenever it encounters a space right okay now this will be fine i think so let's run the code again for length of the array 5 25 space 77 54 81 and 48 output should be 2 and it is right okay now run for the second input that is 10 length of the array and 0 3 5 10 15 16 18 19 and 206 2 5 output should be 3 and it is 3 right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used here so now if you want the solution in java then please let me know in the comment section i will give you the solution in the java as well and if you want me to solve the problems of all take mahindra questions then please suggest me in the comment section then i will keep uploading take mahindra content right if you found this video helpful then please subscribe and share this video with your friends so that they can also take help right so thank you for today's session